Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be doing a 15 inch by 30 inch. Hence we are down on the floor because it's a bit bigger than um, what I would normally be doing up on my table. My table, getting my camera high enough when I'm up on the table just doesn't seem to happen. So I'm going to do a flip and drag. I really like that style. And I haven't done any for a while. I've been playing with my um, with my records. And so, first step to doing this is to get um, the white on. I'm using this is my last of my spring interior exterior paint from Bunnings. Um, and it's basically I mix it with flow troll and water until it's so runny that when I pour it off the stick it doesn't leave a a lump if that makes sense so um, and the reason for that is if it leaves a, a lump it's not running enough to cover the canvas with these. Now I have had some comments in the comment section about how some of you find my silly voices and my singing. Um, I think Linda said like nails on a blackboard which is quite cool to me because I actually like the sound of nails on a blackboard. <laughs> Yes, I'm weird, and I love being weird. Um, if you don't enjoy listening to my prattle, please, 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 just mute the video. If you don't like watching the, um, the playing of the white, skip it. You know, please use YouTube however you desire it. Um, I put these videos up for your entertainment and your information. Um, there is information in what I say. That you won't get if you don't listen uh, but that's your choice I don't have a point of view about it and you know it's totally up to you whether you watch my videos or not and how you watch my videos okay so what colors am I using today I am using my Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic Titanium White which has no silicon in it. Then I am using my Reeves Thalo Blue which is quite a beautiful translucent colour and that has no silicon in it. And then we have the Reno Art Crimson Red, which has silicon in it. And this one is the Reeves Payne's Grey. Again, no silicon. A little bit, uh, a little bit more white and a little bit more red close those up and now I've probably got way too much paint in here for a flip and drag how's it get any better one two three all right now I do know that this um, crimson red does dry oopsie a lot That was not dragged very far. It does dry. A lot darker than it looks in the painting initially. Uh, 
All right. Well, we've definitely got cells happening. We've got lacing happening from the smearing of the paint. And we've got air bubbles happening. So let's start by getting the air bubbles out. And let's see what magic we can create. Got a couple of spots where it's actually gone down to the canvas. So I'm just allowing those to fill in. By tilting. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. Stretching that out. The thing with the longer pieces like this, you gotta stand up and move. <laughs> oh, I really love phthalo blue. But putting that Payne's grey in has given it another dimension on the blue. Because Payne's Grey is really quite a, it's like a black blue. I really like it. Just going to let that dribble down to the air a little bit. And then drag it sideways. Oh, off the tin. What does it desire to be? Talk to me painting. I'm liking the, the kind of lady's face there. That's cool. Just want to get that last bit of that off the end. Here we go. What else is required on this painting? Because I know it's not finished and yet it's not really talking to me today. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I've got a bit of a sore throat.
Okay, let's even that flow up a bit. This is stretching the amount of paint out quite dynamically. Give it another blast with the, with the gun. I'm loving it, but it's not quite finished. What else does it desire of me to do? I actually get that I need to scrape some off. Put a bit more white on the end there. Let's go around. before that distorts the rest of it get back down the other end and run that off there she blows that's what I was after all right I've gone off the pots again Oh, I like that. Yay. Yep. I'm... Okay, one more thing. Awesome, I like that.
I'm hearing somebody screaming. No. I just hope it wasn't the painting. <laughs> Oh, don't like that. Where's my scrape pump? Where's my white? How does it get any better than this? I'm going to stop. You know the old song, gambler song? Know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. I need to get that last bit off. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this one at that because I'm super happy with the result. I really like the way that is. The color is on the canvas. There it goes. So let me take my gloves off, get you down, and I'll show you the details. Okay, so there's not really cells to speak of. There are holes in the paint, but I wouldn't call them cells as such. There are some fun, interesting little bits. But it's more about the way the paint has smeared that I really like on this one. Is my feet sticking to the plastic? I really like it, guys. So I'm going to cover it in a box, let it dry, and show it to you once it's dry. Have fun, and what else is possible when you're choosing to have fun? for you. Bye bye. Okay so here it is dried it's a couple of days later and uh, it's basically held its shape completely. Um, I'll just zoom you over. Sorry about the light reflection. It's a cold, rainy day. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I like it. It's different. It's wonky. And 
If anyone ever ha asks me if it has any meaning, no. It's just pretty. Pretty and fun to make. That's my art. <laughs> How does it get any better? Thanks for joining me here at Mickey Art. Um, if you want to be notified about my videos, then please not only subscribe, but hit the bell as well. Uh, have fun. Bye-bye.